Right, so this video is all about using equation editor in Word. So let's say you've done some mathematics, something like this, with this triangle, and you're finding the area of the triangle, but you want to type it into a nice little Word document because you're doing some maths assignment. Well, uh, here's how you do it. So I'm going to click Insert up here, and then I'm going to go over here where it says Equation. I'm just going to click on Equation, and you can see it opens up this box, and all of this, this whole screen sort of changes. Now, I'm going to type in what I want to type in. The first line was area equals. Um, now, just look at it again. It's base times height over 2. So it's a fraction. So I can choose this little fraction thingy, the drop down menu. And I'll use this fraction here. Don't use these ones, they're a bit weird. Use this one. Now, up the top, I want to type base. Uh, times, there's a little times button here, height, and then I click my thingy here and click 2. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to insert my next line, insert equation. This one says equals, um, it was 7 times 4 over 2, so again I need another little fraction here, 7 times 4 over 2. Okay, and now I need a little, another one, equals, uh, another fraction, 28 over 2, and then insert one more equation, equals 14 um, centimetres. Now, I want us to the power of, uh, so like centimetres squared, to do that, I'm going to use this little, I've gotten rid of the centimeters bit. I'm going to click where it says scripts, and I'm going to click this one here, this box. And then in this box, I can type in centimeters, and in this box, I can type in squared. Okay, now, the, really the last step, and probably the most important step here, is that the equal signs are really ugly. They're all over the place. They should all be neatly underneath each other. To do that, highlight all of them, and then right click, and then you'll see there's a new little thing here that says align at equals. So just click align at equals, and it'll give you this nice, beautiful um, bit of mathematics that you can now type into Microsoft Word. Uh, now, there is so much more that you can do with this, you can see that they've got square root signs. Um, you can see uh, some brackets here. They've got all sorts of different types of brackets. Um, and then they've got a whole bunch of symbols here. You can find symbols for degrees and uh, symbols for percentages. And um, I think if I go all the way down here somewhere, I can find the symbol for pi. So there's lots and lots of stuff there. Just take a look at it. Um, and you'll find it when you need it.